Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for all the messages that I got about the last video that I did on the workshop about uh, trading double tops, double bottoms. I received lots and lots of great feedback for that. And also people are now testing it and trading it even, which is great to hear uh, and see some of the results that you're getting just from that one strategy. Um, this week's a little bit different. I just want to take you through a few pairs, a few opportunities, really just from the point of view of what I'm looking at, what I've been looking at, my thoughts on certain situations. And we're just going to go through a few pairs just so you can get an insight into kind of how I'm thinking, what I'm looking at in the markets. And it's really kind of an overview. And there's a couple of setups there as well. So let's get stuck in. All right. So the first thing I want to share is just something that I glazed over on my Instagram. If you're following my Instagram, yesterday morning when I was doing my pre-market analysis, one of the things that I was looking at is a breakout, um, a flag. And what, we, what was really interesting about the flag pattern on the Aussie dollar is if you just look at what happened here, we've been in this consolidation zone for quite some time, moving sideways. And we had this resistance level being tested once, twice, three times, and we were struggling to break through that resistance. Now, non-farm payroll came out on Friday and we saw a push and break and close above that previous resistance level, above the highs. Um, and what happened following that was a really interesting story. If we look down on the hourly time frame, you can see that immediately following that breakout, we had an open, and then the bears tried to push down as much as they could and got rejected. And that tells a really powerful story because after that long uh, attempt of breaking above that 7,800 level, we finally broke above the 7,800 level, and then the 60 minute chart tells us that there was a lot of bear pressure that got rejected. Now immediately after that, there's a good probability that we're going to see a break to the upside. So that's a really good insight. That's a really good kind of, that's some good discretion to have there. Um, and that's what we typically see. And that's what we saw. We saw a continued break to the upside. And then just as I was looking at my pre-market yesterday, I saw this setup. This was a flag breakout. And this is very, very typical following a major breakout of a strong resistance level like that. We see a breakout, we get above the level, and then we see a compression channel or a flag, and then we see another breakout to the upside. And this was a breakout, typical textbook breakout and retest. Uh, we've obviously violated that and rolled over now, but the move is the breakout. And some of you caught that, some of you didn't, but if you did, well done. I just wanted to share that with you because there was a. I want you to kind of gain insights from this channel. I want you to build discretion and look at the get insights into the nuances of the market and hopefully by watching these videos it's just something you can just jot down little nuggets of information try and share with you as much as i've learned and when i look at the markets i see my experience and my discretion to this point and that will grow and grow and grow so if i'm sharing it with you guys hopefully it speeds up that process but there's a similar setup on the New Zealand dollar. New Zealand dollar, Aussie dollar are very similar in terms of the way that they, they're correlated uh, to a degree. There was a similar setup here. So we broke out, we saw the flag, broke out, slightly rolled over. This wasn't as juicy of a setup as the Aussie dollar because we broke that 7,800, which was a major level. But this one, uh, you know, the level I'm looking at for a short would be 74.28, 74.30 up here. Um, that's the major level on this one. So even though the price action pattern is similar, the quality of the setups wasn't similar. So now I want to look at the pound dollar. Pound dollar. Let's just uh, let's just remove these drawing tools. And if you go back and watch my double tops video, there's a couple of setups that you can really play along with here and and look at that setup and start to build your own uh, rules and your own you know your own trading system. The first thing I'm looking at here is the horizontal line at where we're trading. Okay, if we just look left, you can see we had this rejection here on the daily. Okay, major level of structure resistance looking left, uh, that 4140 level, 4150. And we're approaching that level. And what we had on the four hour is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten straight bullish candles in a row. Okay, yeah, we had a little pregnant pause here. Um, on the 10th of May and the close of the two o'clock candle, but this was the this was a strong bullish move. Now we know that doesn't go on forever. Where does it hit the wall? Well, look at that, it hits a wall right at previous structure resistance. So now we're interested. Now we can start going right. That's held that level. It hasn't violated the high. It hasn't broken closed above. 
how can we now potentially get involved? And there was a couple of ways of doing that, and there still is potentially a way that you can involve yourself here. So if you go back and you look at the setup, the strategy session that I did, you could look at a few different things. First of all, the RSI went overbought, right? So some of you are looking at the RSI, and um, you can see that we're overbought here. Second of all, if you use a 15 minute time frame as your entry time frame, you actually already got the double top. You can see very, very clearly that you've got the double top here. And here's the V shape. Here's the top. You would have entered and the close of this candle here, uh, which is 4137, which tested the high zone. If you remember the workshop I did, the pink zone, which would have been this level here, if this was pink. Okay, so the pink zone is the zone we just tested that we closed valid setup you're in okay stop goes above the higher which um which is great and then your target level goes either at the retracement v the bottom or you use a 382 which i think lines up with this uh this structure shelf here or you use structure which is a little bit lower so you might have already caught that but if you didn't then you could still wait for the double top on the four hour now, the double top on the four hour will hold more significant. It will have more significance to it. If you can just wait for the double top to form here and wait for a close of a four hour candle that tests this high. So this high right here. And you can be patient. That's going to be a really, really nice high and tight double top that's going to have a real high reward to risk ratio because if you're losing structure, you know, your structure-based targets would be right down here. If you're using a 382, you'll be around uh, here, this level here. And if you're using the V-shape, then, you know, that, that's there. But either way, it's going to be a nice reward to risk. It's going to be a decent profit. And that's certainly something to look out for on the pound dollar because we are at major structure resistance, okay? Now, another thing that you might look at is waiting for a 2618 which is what we call uh, a 2618 which is basically a double top followed by a violation of the v and then another last pullback up into structure before shorting i'm not going to go over that in this lesson in this video but um, that's something that's there as well euro dollar not as nice of an opportunity similar setup to the pound uh, dollar but not um, not a major level of structure and also the double top pulled back down into structure so it loses some quality there so i'm not going to go through that uh, pound aussie was the other one i was looking at unfortunately i couldn't get this out in time for you guys here but we did it in the live room went through um this ascending channel let's just quickly go through that so you guys know what i'm looking at here so what we're looking at since end of january last year uh, end of january this year um, beginning of January, we held the bottoms, okay? We pushed up into this consolidation zone in late January. I think it was the 27th. And then since then, we've really just been honing in on these ranging, these consolidation zones. And we've been reining in and reining in as we've put in smaller and smaller zones. So now we're looking at this channel right here, okay? So uh, this channel right here. So this is the level of structure resistance that we're looking at. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tests of that level just in this frame here without going back historically. And as we approach that level, again, we've got the bullish momentum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bullish candles in a row. Where do we hit the wall like a brick wall right at previous structure resistance? Now we're interested. We've also got this nice deceleration indicated by these two candles here which also if we drop down to the hourly starts to form our ascending channel now you guys know how i feel about ascending channels if you don't go and look at my trading view uh, profile and you'll see it's littered with these opportunities i like to post these setups because they're they're very prolific and they're very high probability and the idea is that once we get the uh, retest of the high in this case a fourth test you you enter and then you shoot for uh, the low of the setup and you can see that we've we've hit that and the great thing about this was is if you was placing stops above the high you can get them above major structure looking left right and then you're looking at entering here 
with a target position down here and let's just show you stop loss position here giving you a two to one reward to risk so very very nice setup there quick in out very high probability um, not the major level of structure resistance but these this inside structure which is just as powerful uh, in this market so there's there's that unfortunately i couldn't get that out to you in time for it to play out but hey ho um, pound yen we've broken out and closed above major structure so again following non-farms we had a breakout there and look the interesting thing is is like what it was doing in the aussie dollar is we're putting in this flag pattern so for those of you who trade this flag pattern in fact again we might be a little bit too late here for you guys but we're seeing this rejection candle here so if you got in at the bottom of the channel which would be here right if you got in here um, you could already be on your way to, to targets now and you'll be looking for the breakout. Now, where would the breakout go to? Um, I would personally be not shooting for the moon in terms of an extension, um, but a 127 or a, you know, maybe a 1618 or maybe a, a, a cloned measured move of the flagpole, uh, something like that. You don't want to be too greedy with these, depending on your approach. In my opinion, you don't want to be too greedy because particularly with the, uh, the pound yen, um, but there's a breakout set up there as well. So that's really it. There's a couple of things setting up on other markets, but I'm not going to go into too much. I don't want this video to go on and on and on. Let me know what your setups are. Please share in the group. Treat this like a, like a, like a live trading room. Just share us, share us like a prop firm, virtual prop firm. Share with us your ideas down there. Um, I just want to say one more time, beware of all the scammers. Beware of all the people posting invest with me and dropping whatsapp numbers and email addresses i never ever contact anyone so none of those accounts are anything to do with me and they're all scams so don't listen to them um they're just scouting these channels looking for innocent victims you cannot invest with any of them they'll take your money i get sent messages on a daily from people who have invested money with these people and lost their money they, they never see it again so please don't do that there's no need watch the videos here empower yourself on learning how to read the financial markets, how to trade them, or at least just invest in them passively. I've got plenty of information here without you having to blow your money, your hard-earned money. So um, let us know in the comments what you think, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.